taxes, but we haven't seen the big stories, the CEOs of the big companies we've seen uh, in, implicated going to jail. We've seen them arrested. We haven't seen sentences. Yeah, and that's a good point you raised because there's a big difference between arresting someone and then being able to convict them. Yeah. And we discussed this in previous shows. A lot of times you'll see the SEC and the Justice Department enter into settlements or plea bargains. And the reason is it's one thing to arrest somebody. It's another thing to prove the case in front of a jury beyond a reasonable doubt. That's a high standard to be able to uh, overcome. But uh, very quickly, the only case I'm aware of that where, where there was a big restitution was in the prudential scandals in the limited partnerships mm -hmm. in the 80s and early 90s. And even in that restitution fund, investors still had to prosecute their claims through an arbitration process. So while the SEC is doing enforcement actions, really the brunt of rec actually recovering lost dollars falls on the uh, uh, attorneys around the country.